When you eat an apple, your mouth engages in a complex series of events. Together, these steps begin digestion, allowing your body to benefit from the food you eat. How does your mouth play a role in digestion? The mouth is the beginning of the digestive system. Digestion is the breakdown of food into smaller components. These can then be absorbed and assimilated by the body for energy and growth. Digestion starts with mastication. This process chews or grinds food in the mouth into a soft, warm mush called a bolus. Saliva lubricates the bolus, enabling it to be easily swallowed. During mastication, food is pushed around the mouth in a rhythmic motion by the jaw muscles, tongue, and teeth. Mastication increases the surface area of food, allowing the digestive enzymes in saliva to kill bacteria and begin digestion. All animals' teeth are shaped to suit its particular diet. Humans have four types of teeth. Incisors are located at the front and midline of the mouth. They are relatively flat or chisel-shaped and suited for cutting food. Canine teeth are also known as cuspids. They have a single pointed surface called a cusp. They use the cusp to tear and shred food. Premolars are also known as bicuspids. They are between the canines and the molars. They crush and grind food. Molars at the back of the mouth serve the same purpose using three or four blunt cusps. The tongue helps to shape food into a bolus during mastication, but it also tastes the food. It senses the chemical, tactile, and thermal stimuli that give food its flavor and so-called mouthfeel. What enables the tongue to taste flavor? The bumpy structures that cover the tongue's surface are often mistaken for taste buds, but the bumpy structures are papillae. These goblet-shaped elevations help create friction between the tongue and food, enabling the tongue to form the food into a bolus. Most papillae contain taste buds. The taste buds are much smaller and located within the folds of the papillae. Taste buds have specialized cells called gustatory receptors. The receptors respond to stimuli from the chemicals in food. The chemicals give rise to several primary tastes. They are sweet, salty, bitter, sour, and umami or savory. Some scientists claim that fat is a sixth taste. When a gustatory receptor is stimulated, an electrical impulse is sent to the gustatory region of the cerebral cortex, which registers the signal as taste. The salivary glands are located to the side of and underneath the mouth. Salivary ducts lead to the mouth, releasing saliva into the oral cavity. Saliva moistens food, helping to create a bolus that is easily swallowed. Saliva also lubricates the esophagus, easing passage of the bolus. Saliva is 98% water. It contains digestive enzymes, including amylase. Amylase catalyzes the hydrolysis of starch into sugars. This reaction begins digestion of sugars in the mouth before reaching the stomach. Once the teeth, tongue, and saliva have created the bolus, it is ready to be swallowed. Swallowing is a complex process combining voluntary and involuntary responses. The first step is for the tongue to voluntarily press the bolus backward into the pharynx. When the bolus reaches the pharynx, it initiates several reflex and voluntary responses. The opening of the esophagus is enlarged by pulling the larynx forward and down. The epiglottis swings shut to protect the airway. Closure of the epiglottis directs the bolus to enter the esophagus. The bolus stimulates a peristaltic contraction to drive movement of bolus down the esophagus into the stomach. The next time you snack or eat a meal, consider each of the complex series of events that comprise the act of eating and swallowing. It'll taste a lot better.